Later this month, Queen Elizabeth II becomes the oldest reigning monarch in British history. The 82-year-old royal has been waving at the country for 54 years. Joining us now is historian Richard Cadburn, author of the Queen's official biography, Destined to Wave. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Cadburn. Absolutely. Sir, can you explain why this is such an important moment for the British people? Oh, well, Queen Elizabeth is tremendously important. I mean, people such as myself have grown up watching her waggle her hand back and forth. She waved us through the Cold War, the, the Brixton riots, and just recently the 2005 London bus bombing. Some very dark times. Yes. When England is in peril, she's always there to wave. And, um, well, we can't thank her enough for that. Mm. Thankfully, she has private estates that she can retreat to, to um, recuperate from the requirements of waving. Now, in your book, you said Elizabeth II brought waving to the modern age. What exactly did you mean by that? Well, she was the first queen to have her wave televised and uh, the first to have a wave stream on the Internet. Mm. Now, this concept is so foreign to all of us here in the U.S. Can you, can you trace it back to its origins for me? Well, it started in uh, 939 A.D. by Edmund I. He was the first man ever to wave at the people. They believed that he had been uh, divinely chosen to wave and that um, God directly communicated what kind of wave to give. That is, that's completely... I mean, the royals all really have such beautiful hands. Mm -hmm. Lately, Prince Charles has been taking over a lot of waving duties from the Queen. How are Britons feeling about that? Well, it's no secret they're not too thrilled about it. <laughs> they really feel that um, Charles is, is not the most beautiful waver in the world, and you, you can see him muddling his way through it. Um, well, it takes years and years of training, I think. Well, he's had years and years. I mean, Prince William is already a better waver than he is. I, I, oh. It's disappointing. Mm. Mr. Cadburn, congratulations to you and your fellow Britons. You've got quite a group of waivers there, and thank you so much for being with us. Uh, thank you.